A core goal I have when making my videos is to inspire people to unduck and try new things. So when I see something that inspires me, it'd be silly if I didn't act on it. I'm sure a lot of you would have seen the series by Chloroken called A Nomad Tale, in which he and his small army of alt accounts travel through wormhole space, learning the mechanics as he explores the nomad playstyle. But what if you only have one account? Can you still try out this nomadic existence? I wanted to experience it for myself, and in a way accessible to people with single accounts, though you can expand, as I have, to improve efficiency. My plan was simple. Scan my way through high-class wormholes until I stumble upon an instrumental core reservoir. The instrumental sites have a few things going for them. Firstly, the site is huge, at around 400km in diameter. The defending rats consist of four slow-moving battleships with a range of around 130km. These factors mean a prospect using a micro warp drive can just orbit the cloud, safely huffing the gas as the defending battleships impotently circle as they try and chase you down. The gas cloud has a total volume of 120,000 meters cubed of C320 gas, worth 1 billion isk. Great if you can huff it all, but a prospect only has 12,500 meters cubed of space. For this reason, you need to bring a second character flying a porpoise with gas compression. Log the porpoise character off at a safe spot, then when your prospect gets full, warp to the safe, jettison your gas and swap characters to scoop it. This is your single account setup, which will only take you around 9 hours to huff an entire C320 cloud using T2 scoops and after taking into account residue. I have a second prospect to cut this time in half, but you do you. A full prospect of uncompressed C320 is worth around 110 million and takes 78 minutes to fill, so about 85 million is per hour, per prospect. That's 78 minutes of zero clicks once you're orbiting with the scoops active. Not bad as a semi-AFK earner. Some things to be aware of. Number one, from my experience, instrumental sites are pretty rare, full sites even more so. I was able to find one every other day or so. 2. Obviously, it is possible for other players to come and chase you off, but as they initially warp in within the gas cloud, they'll get decloaked. This assumes they haven't already got bookmarks around the site and aren't using combat probes. You're not safe safe, but for wormhole crabbing, it's relatively safe. 3. The gas cloud physically reduces in size at downtime depending on the amount of gas left. The smaller the cloud, the closer you'll be to the defending rats eventually coming within their range once the cloud is small enough. This means that ideally, you'll want to huff the entire cloud between downtimes. To illustrate this, check out this cloud with only 3500 meters cubed left as downtime hits. Let's compare the full size 320 cloud to the smaller C540 cloud as reference. Here's before downtime, and here's after downtime. My cap farts bigger clouds than that. Number four, I briefly mentioned tech two scoops cause residue. This basically means that you're only going to be able to huff about 75% of the entire gas cloud, with the remaining 25% being wasted as residue. You can get around this by using Tet1 scoops, which huff at a slower rate, or by splashing out on faction scoops, which huff faster, cause no residue, but are obviously more expensive should you die in a ball of gassy fire. And finally, number five. When moving holes, it's best to do it one hole at a time. Scout with your prospect, create a safe spot, then swap to your porpoise and move it to the new safe spot. You don't want a hole to collapse separating your two ships. That would not be optimal. Also, consider moving your compressed gas using your prospect. It's vastly harder to catch than the porp. In your search for instrumental sites, you're inevitably going to come across wormholes leading to high sec. You'd have to be extremely unlucky, or lucky, depending on how you look at it, to end up with a full porpoise before you find a high sec hole to dump the gas. You have a choice here. You can transport everything to a trade hub and maximise the isk you get for your gas. Personally, I just create a contract to high sec buyback, or buy the gas from any high sec station at 90% due to buy. It means I only have to spend minutes outside of a wormhole space. But again, you do you. I'll link their services in the description below. And that's wormhole diving for gas. It's not for everyone, and I can't see myself doing it again, but compared to other mining related activities, it's pretty lucrative, and can also be pretty exciting at times especially when the wormhole's resident crab wants to print some isk. Can't blame me for trying. But we did have a nice conversation afterwards, and he patiently answered most of my dumb questions, even though I was getting in his way. Hope you enjoyed this little excursion into wormholes. Leave a comment with your in-game name to have a chance to win a Caracal Scope Syndication skin, and also check out the Nomad Tale series by Chloroken, link below. Cheers!